All right, on our environmental beat, it's Southern California's largest natural, natural freshwater lake. And of course, we're talking about Lake Elsinore, which has long been a destination for fishing and recreation. Uh, but just how healthy is this lake today? Did the Holy Fire last year lead to a fish die off? That's all being studied right now. But officials can't do it alone. They're calling for volunteers to help. We need help, they're telling us. Our Kim Passoff joins us now from Lake Elsinore this morning. And where are you, Kim? Um, here you are. I was looking for you. <laughs> You're bright yellow there in the dark. Um, tell us some of the concerns about Lake Elsinore. Well, good morning to you, Giselle. This is all about water quality. This morning, I brought a mason jar to the lake so we can take a look at the water itself. If I scoop it, you can see it's actually pretty clear, so that's a good sign. But one of the best ways to tell about the health of the lake is through its fish. And right now, there is a huge effort underway to capture as many fish as possible from a variety of different spots. How can you improve the overall health of Lake Elsinore? You can start by catching fish. They will tell you all about the health of the lake. Jonathan Chang lives in Elsinore, only about 10 minutes from the water. I haven't really been around the lake, so now, guess what? I've spent eight hours, 10 hours um, on the lake. I feel more involved. He's helping with the fish survey, wading chest deep into the lake to help trap fish in a 450-foot net. He learned about the need for volunteers on Facebook. Well, I figured, you know what, I got the day off. Why not come out? Are the fish healthy? Are they reproducing? And what species do we find? Chris Stransky with Wood Environmental is helping lead the biological survey of the lake for the Lake Elsinore and San Jacinto Watershed Authority project. Fish populations are being captured at different parts and different depths of the lake with nets and by boat. At this one site alone, there are bluegill, shad, and monster-sized carp. I didn't realize there were that many carp out here. Carp are considered a nuisance fish. When they feed, they dig into the sediments and stir up the mud. 2002 and 2008, there was a big effort to remove carp in the lake, which improved water quality. Uh, about 1.3 million pounds of carp were removed. This survey will help determine if they need to do a mass removal again. <laughs> While most of the fish, including carp, are tagged and released, uh, some are being kept for contaminant testing. We're looking at uh, PCBs and DDTs in the tissues. Scientists are also hoping to figure out the source of a fish die-off this past winter. There was the big fire up on the hillside here, the Holy Fire. Uh, there was a bunch of runoff that occurred after that. We're not exactly sure if that's what the cause was, but it was coincidental timing. Jonathan says he's learned so much about the lake that he lives next to by just getting in. The reality is, if you get involved in something, you get invested. He says his day off of work was well spent, if in some small way his efforts helped improve the fishery and overall health of the lake. And the data that's collected here will be used to update the fishery management plan, which will help improve overall water quality. The next fish capture will take place on Tuesday, September 24th, and a date that has yet to be announced in October. Yeah, everybody's very concerned about what's happening there in Lake Elsinore. How can people uh, sign up to volunteer, Kim? Yeah, this is something that doesn't happen very often. The last fish, fish capture was back in 2003, so it's been 16 years. So this is really a rare opportunity for people to participate. They can do so by signing up through the city's website, and they say you can net, you can catch, uh, you can count the fish. But even if you just want to come out here and watch just to learn about what types of fish there are in the lake, they certainly welcome that. They want um, everyone to come and participate. Anyone is welcome. Great. Thank you so much, Kim. I know they spent like, you know, $173,000 stocking that lake with uh, new fish, mm -hmm. all different kinds of fish. So, But volunteering is important. We need people to contribute, right? And caring about our waterways That's right. is important. Yeah. Respect the water, respect the ocean. Mm -hmm.